Fortnite continues to break records and, with the growth of its star-studded player base, has moved further into the public eye. This bodes well for the future of the game, which somehow still seems to have room to grow. Here are the celebs bringing Fortnite into the mainstream. Over the past year, Canadian rapper and entrepreneur Drake has turned into an unexpected icon of the gaming industry. His journey started in March when he joined pro gamer Tyler Ninja Blevins for a record-breaking Twitch stream. The pair played a few matches of Fortnite Battle Royale before Juju Smith-Scuster and Travis Scott joined them for some team action. The stream trended on Twitter and reached 628,000 concurrent viewers. This blew the previous record of 388,000 viewers out of the water. During the stream, Drake admitted to playing Fortnite for the past two months while working on his album. He also offered ideas on where the game's focus should be in future development. Drake teamed up with Ninja twice more in April, donating $5,000 to the stream after Ninja secured a 16-kill victory. During their April 10th session, he even agreed to include Fortnite references in a future song if Epic added the Hotline Bling Dancer mode for in-game purchase. Continuing the trend of Canadian celebs obsessed with Fortnite is Finn Wolfhard, aka D&D lover Mike Wheeler from Stranger Things. Born in 2002, Finn is the youngest person on this list and arguably one of the most ferocious Battle Royale players. With his own Twitch channel, Finn often tweets about his Fortnite exploits with his brother and fellow actor Nick Wolfhard. The duo have become favorites of the gaming scene, entertaining fans during streams. They release a new video about once every few days and sometimes pop up on their friends' channels. Don't let the brothers' charming antics fool you, though. Finn isn't afraid to go all out. Back in March 2018, after one-shotting a would-be ambusher, he triumphantly tweeted, just pooped on some kid's soul. Fans have also noted in other streams that Finn can get scary when he's upset. If you find him in the game, prepare yourself for some serious competition. No, nothing about this is okay! Nothing about this is okay! Oh. Grammy Award-winning Chance the Rapper is best known for his creative jazz and gospel-inspired music. In February 2018, he captured the attention of gamers when he tweeted at Nintendo, requesting they release Fortnite on Switch. In July, Chance took to Twitter again, this time putting Fortnite on blast for monetizing their rap-inspired dance emotes. The rapper tweeted, Imagine the money people are spending on these emotes being shared with the artists that made them. Despite his criticism of Epic Games, it's clear that Chance's enthusiasm for Fortnite hasn't diminished. Finished. On July 19, 2018, he released the song 65th and Ingleside, and he referenced the game in his lyrics. Following in Drake's footsteps, Chance joined Twitch streamer Tyler Ninja Blevins on his channel for some squad matches, much to the delight of his fans. Christopher Comstock, otherwise known as Marshmallow, took the world by storm with his quirky, style and bass heavy electronic sound back in 2016. He has since propelled his career forward with some star-studded collaboration. It was his surprise collaboration with pro streamer Ninja back in June that brought him to the forefront of the gaming scene. Competing together in Epic's E3 2018 Pro-Am, the dynamic duo smashed the competition, securing first place in the tournament. Marshmallow donated his $1 million prize money to Kind, an organization that helps refugees and immigrant children. With the championship under his belt, Marshmallow let his gaming flag fly, launching his new series, Mellow Cave. He has since released weekly videos featuring various streaming stars. Not one to leave his Fortnite partner in the wind, Marshmallow joined a ninja for more squatting on his channel channel, leaving him this cheeky comment. Your trophy looks nice at my house, Ninja. Think I might have to keep it. You may recognize Robbie Amell from his portrayal of Firestorm in CW's The Flash. He shares the super spotlight with his cousin Stephen Amell, who plays the title role in Flash's sister show, Arrow. As if that weren't cool enough, Robbie revealed his love for Fortnite in January 2018 on Instagram. In June, Robbie teamed up with Twitch star Lachlan to take on the E3 Fortnite Pro-Am. Though they didn't place in the top 10, Robbie gracefully accepted defeat, tweeting, Got absolutely smoked, but I had a blast. Never great running into King Richard with without shields. Since the competition, Robbie has continued to document his Fortnite escapades on Twitter, including promoting other gamers' Twitch streams. Whether he's sharing his victories and defeats or supporting other players, Amel remains a supercharged addition to the Fortnite community. 
Whether you loved or hated the Jonas Brothers, there's no denying that Joe Jonas has come into his own since going solo in 2011. Between forming his funk pop band DNCE, getting engaged to Game of Thrones star Sophie Turner, and joining The Voice Australia as a coach, the star has had a busy few years. Amidst the shoots and performances, Joe has managed to squeeze in a few game nights. In 2018, he took to Twitter sharing his Fortnite username and inviting fans to join his team. Several streamers have gushed about playing with him, since the singer is apparently not shy about admitting his identity if you find him in-game. Believe it or not, Spartacus plays Fortnite. I'm Spartacus! No, not those guys. Australian actor Liam McIntyre, who played Spartacus in the final two seasons of the Star series, is a confirmed Fortnite addict. No stranger to the geeky scene, Liam also plays Weather Wizard on The Flash and even created and kickstarted his own tabletop game. With a long history of gaming under his belt, Liam first revealed his interest in Fortnite when he joined Epic Games' celebrity lineup for the 2018 Fortnite Pro Am. Paired with Mew Selk, Liam bragged about their preparation on Twitter. Mew Selk responded with, Little do they know our plan consists mainly of hiding inside bushes. Though the team didn't make it to the finals, Liam continued to pursue Fortnite excellence. The actor earned extra points with Spartacus fans for his Fortnite handle Bringer of Rain 1. Lakers fans rejoice! Small forward and shooting guard Josh Hart is a devoted Fortnite fan. He revealed his true colors back in February 2018 with his Fortnite-themed Nike Kobe AD, custom made by the infamous Kickstradomus. During an interview with Dan Patrick, Hart talked about the time he and other basketball pros spent playing Fortnite, including an extended session with Larry Nance Jr. We all had our own PS4s and we ran like a whole Fortnite squad for like 10 hours that day. When Patrick asked the athlete whether he would rather spend time with his girlfriend or with pro Fortnite player Ninja, Hart said, Right now, Ninja. At the 2018 Fortnite Pro-Am, when asked by ESPN to compare his Fortnite skills to those of other NBA pros, Josh was anything but modest. Oh, I'm definitely the best Fortnite player in the league. Uh, I mean, if we can figure this out. Dedicated to his craft, the basketball player launched his own Twitch channel. He went head-to-head -head with Twitch star X Chocobars and IGN streamer Showdown. But it turns out Hart didn't dominate in Fortnite as much as he does on the court. Asked how he did on a scale of 1 to great, Hart gave himself a solid 0. Dancer turned singer, actress and model, Jordan Jones' performance on the MTV Video Music Awards and Dancing with the Stars propelled her to YouTube star status. With millions of social media followers, her young star continues to rise. In June 2018, Jones teamed up with Turkish pro streamer Orkan for the Fortnite E3 Pro-Am. After some gamers booed her participation in the event, Jones told the haters on Twitter she'd been playing Fortnite since Season 2. Jordan's love of the game has been well documented on social media. In February 2018, she tweeted about wanting to play Fortnite instead of finishing housework, and later in the month, she joined Fortnite streamer Toxic for some duos. Though she didn't place in the top 10 during Celebrity Pro-Am, Jordan continues to feed her Fortnite obsession. Sometimes you can even catch her streaming live over on her Twitch channel. Wisconsin-born Madeline Bailey got her start covering popular songs on YouTube. Her videos drew millions of views, prompting her to move to California in 2013 to continue developing her career. She has since earned international acclaim with the release of a full cover album and her original EP, Wiser. Madeline's Fortnite obsession has grown alongside her expanding music career. Bailey identifies as a big nerdy gamer. During an interview with Fuse, she revealed she had been playing Epic's Battle Royale opus, saying, You have to play the edge of the map. In May 2018, Epic Games announced Bailey's scheduled participation in the Celebrity Pro-Am. Madeline partnered with Noah J456 and streamed their tournament practice live. Since the Pro-Am, Madeline has continued to play Fortnite, streaming weekly on her Twitch channel. She also shares her music sessions, inviting viewers to make cover requests. If a unicorn exists, it's Demetrius Johnson. No, not that one. Johnson is the first UFC flyweight champion. ESPN and Sherdog have named him the greatest mixed martial artist in the world, praising his quick strikes and agility. Johnson is also a notorious Fortnite player, racking up frequent victory royales. The game features heavily among the almost 400 videos on his Twitch channel, with new streams popping up weekly, sometimes even daily. In June 2018, Johnson teamed up with French Fortnite player Gotaga for the E3 Celebrity Pro-Am. Though they didn't place in the top 10, 
2010, Johnson was a gracious loser on his Instagram saying, Awesome Fortnite tournament, happy to be a part of it. You likely know California-born Paul George as a small forward for Oklahoma City Thunder, averaging 22.6 points, 7.6 rebounds, and 4.5 assists per game. George has been making waves, but basketball isn't George's only game. A regular Fortnite player, he joined pro streamer LSK on his channel for a gaming session in February 2018, drawing over 31,000 likes from fans. In June 2018, he was part of another dynamic duo, teaming up with Myth for the Fortnite E3 Celebrity Pro-Am. Debuting a new pair of Nike sneakers at the event, people went wild, declaring them Fortnite shoes, a name that has stuck despite the shoes having no clear connection to the game. Jordan Fisher is what the performance industry calls a triple threat. An accomplished dancer, singer, and actor, he's released his own EP album, appeared on several TV shows, and performed on Broadway in the hit show Hamilton. In 2017, he even won the 25th season of Dancing with the Stars alongside partner Lindsay Arnold. When it comes to the stage, Fisher's got the moves. But that's not his only area of expertise. With his own channel, Fisher is an official Twitch partner and his game of choice is Fortnite. In June 2018, Fisher claimed his place as a formidable player in the Fortnite E3 Pro-Am, placing fourth in the tournament alongside streamer Stone Mountain 64. Like the rest of the top 10, he donated his $50,000 cut of the prize money to charity. Fisher loves to play with his fans and has shared his username on Twitter, inviting followers to join his squad. Talented and a team player, Fisher has proven to be an asset of the esports community.